Welcome to Design in Daba 2012. The best design conference in the world in the best city in the world. Now we open the Young Designer Simulcast to over 25. So Cape Town, can we please welcome our friends in Johannesburg and Durban? It's an honor for MTN to be associated with the Design in Daba and particularly for me to be standing before you opening the world's most prestigious celebration of creativity. Our very first speakers for the 2012 Design and Daba conference are no strangers to Cape Town. Uh, Fox P2. Thank you very much for uh, having us here this morning. What a great opportunity for us. Uh, the, more, uh, the more creative heads come together to try and effect change, the more chance there is of change. A piece of work that we did for our client, uh, Brandhouse, um, for their, for their drive try initiative, we actually wanted to uh, feature actual reformed prisoners in the, in the commercial. Hi, my name is Leonard. I'm looking for a special person. I'm looking for a soul that is, is energetic and is understanding. Don't be scared of me. I'm not an animal. Or whatever you can do, make sure you speak at Design and Daba. I'm going to talk about something I call thinking wrong. And the way this works is I take this group of people, immerse them in a place that is unfamiliar. They think wrong, invent a project, and get it done in two weeks. The Millennium Forest um, is an extraordinary idea. We're moving people through the spaces to um, allow them the opportunity of getting very close to nature without necessarily getting their feet dirty. This is a wild duck. I'm going to talk to you about how we do things today. We are very connected to seasonality, to foraging. In some type of, some type of abstract way, we were thinking, this duck, it got shot as it was landing. It rolled over. What was the last dying images it had? This is it, actually. This was the last dying images. And then it turns out to this. This is probably the best uh, conference that uh, I've, ever, I've ever been to. It's a burgeoning place of design. It's, it's the first sort of plug and play uh, table which is ADA apply, uh, compliant and, and you know anybody in the wheelchair can actually sit there and actually um, um, utilize the table. Next, we put together a Pecha Kucha style team for the fourth conference running. Athletes and individuals that play sports, um, you can, after you're done playing sports, you take off your shoe and it typically really does smell really bad. So this is UV, um, UVSB, the ultraviolet sports pack, which severs the link between sport and smell. The question we've been trying to answer is more social than technological. How do we actually bring these green solutions into neighborhoods? Empower House is a site net zero energy home, uh, which means it produces as much electricity as it uses in a year. Pachacucha format really makes you have to be poetic almost about the way you edit, you know, uh, what your practice is. All I wanted people to know is that you know, older people live with HIV and I designed this and then I was like, well, here's how it could look on the street because why can't older people uh, be seen as like liking hot pink or like lime green? I took the photos that I've, that I've taken of South Africa, uh, for example, this is a, a little donut stand in Durban and I abstracted that into a simpler geometry and then after that I made it into a pattern. I decided to make sort of a fictional character. So this guy, he lives in the forest and he hunts animals. One of his, uh, his objects is like this bag. He made a bag out of one of the animals he hunted, sort of to attract other animals to come. In Japan, I'm kind of a pop personality. I do design for debate. I have to talk about my next project right now. It's the menstruation machine which is a machine that lets men or people who don't have menstruation experience the real menstruation. Wow! In our region, uh, where, where I left, it was uh, Kabul at the north side of uh, the town, and there were a lot of uh, landmines. My childhood toys, I want to make the same toys, but in a bigger scale.
I like the idea that, that you, you have uh, designers from, from the north uh, coming down to the south. So we came up with these ideas. Can we retrofit these hills with cable car stations? It really connects the formal with the informal. So pregnant women, children, old people who had took two hours to get down the hill now can go down in 10 minutes. The conference has been I think a wonderful, eclectic mix of really interesting minds. Uh, the first project we're going to talk about is called the Johnny Cash Project. It's actually the first project that we ever worked on together. And I think creativity is really the ability to take different things and mesh, mash them together in interesting ways. It's an online collaborative music video creation platform. So basically each frame is hand drawn by a different person. I want to welcome all of you here tonight. Enjoy the evening. We are trying to make Cape Town a hub where people can use a design platform to fashion the tools that can tackle social challenges that we face head on. Could design be about business to community? Could we invoke an entire new segment? and about how we look at design. What Common was created to do is celebrate, support, and connect these people and companies that are designing this new era of socially conscious capitalism. So let me introduce uh, today's co-host, Kaya Langa. Kaya, can you come up? I believe that design is more than just about creating things. It is about solving problems. I thoroughly believe that architecture can make the world a better place through a diversity of things. So the idea was that if you're going to train people to do hair care or appliance repair or food production, why do it academically? Why not make these trading hatches in the classrooms that you can sell food? So it's not telling people about entrepreneurship. You make them get money for their homework. The exciting thing for us is to see the possibilities of this space, right? And the possibilities of the country and the continent. We're both on the autistic spectrum. The, the, the challenge was, was maybe we could make a piece of software that actually had a physiological result. This is one of the students that we've been working with for quite some time. He has learned the names of these shapes and the colours of the shapes. The brief was to, to go around your cities and get inspired by informal traders and the furniture that they, they were creating out of necessity um, and created a, um, a bench which we called the Hawker Bench. How can we treat this bed and make it multifunctional and space saving? In the morning when the kids are at school, the bottom two can be a sofa, then it becomes a grandstand seating when the kids come back from school, they do their homework, watch TV, at night it becomes five beds. I believe in that you are the next religion. You've got to believe in yourself. And something like Design in Dover does give you that, that belief in yourself. I'm not a product designer. I'm, I'm, I'm a brand interventionist. I'm not a strategic thinker. I am. I've been blessed with a strategic head. But the problem with strategic thinker is that dude doesn't do. And I want to be known as a creative doer of a strategic thought. Sometimes doing something new and interesting is as simple as not giving people what they expect. Films are beginning to cross and become part of the general consciousness. We cut our teeth in uh, the area of what you might call live performance or designing for the stage. And um, we uh, formed our company together, the three of us, uh, working with a band called Massive Attack. Hi, um, I'm Robert, he's Grant. Uh, we're Massive Attack and we're really happy to be in South Africa. Here at uh, Design in Darba, Cape Town. I would say that a creative person and all creative persons should be more uh, provocative and, and, and stand up and take their place on a higher level. And I made a product, this was the first product, a stool, and I turned the world around. So, so I thought, well, I make products piling them up. This is a, a, a great blend of, uh, of, of great minds. I wanted to find a way to include um, your food directly into your living room. He's able maybe to, to, to fish a fish and to get his very, very local meal.
massively inspired by by the other the other speakers. We have a methane digester, and uh, you're basically cooking using human gas, which, interestingly enough, is is non-odorous. Design is a process. Design is somehow being comfortable with the fact that you have no idea where this thing is going. In fact, if you think about it, if you do know where the thing is going, why even bother to start to begin with? I started to collect smells from all over the world. Like other people wrote a diary, I collected smells. We collected bacteria from different parts of human being, collecting synthetic allergies, noses, ears, armpits, etc., etc., and started to make cheese from human bacteria. We thought it would be a really good idea to create a, a sun in London. A giant two and a half ton sun that was suspended on the top of a 200 ton crane in Trafalgar Square. We can um, give a little bit of extra sunshine to, you know, to Londoners. Every time I look at you, I smile. What uh, Designing Daba is doing is, is really uh, essential because it, it goes beyond the fear of pulling knowledge. It brings all kinds of disciplines together. And they had this idea to install this gigantic kitchen altar uh, in the kitchen, which marked my total debut. It's a mobile exhibition in a box. It lasted three months and it was visited by 29 people, so it was a rather intimate show, and then it developed into a kind of a rumor. What I find very interesting about designing DAPA is that, um, you know, there's not a huge number of speakers, but they feel like this selection is really handpicked. The challenge we decided to look at is asking, how can we use digital technologies to attract more people to biking? So we put a, a Bluetooth chip inside the wheel and started thinking about a, f a mobile phone application. Tapping into the local knowledge, you empower yourself with, with knowledge to do things differently. Architects shouldn't just be designers of beautiful facades or even expressive sculptures. Uh, we should become designers of ecosystems. So we might not have mountains, but now that we have mountains of trash, we thought, you know, Copenhageners happy go six hours by bus to go to this ski resort in, uh, in south of Sweden. And instead of having some kind of a visitor center where school teachers drag the kids to force them to hear how trash turns into energy, here you can take the elevator up to the roof and you can choose between a green, a blue and a black ski slope. Happy to be here inside this amazing design in Dapa event, where we feel there's a lot of connections with uh, with design, with aesthetics, with new uses of technology. How many of you are involved in design education? The journey with Design in Darbus started some 17 years ago and we feel as excited and as passionate as the very, very first day that we started. And part of it is due to you. It'll be completely remiss of us not to be able to say goodbye to some folks who are leaving. Oh,